Good afternoon. Uh, welcome. It is uh, Wednesday, October 31st, just a little bit after noon time. Uh, we're here at the EOC bringing you uh, another in the series of uh, communication tools that we've been using uh, to get you the information that we have as fast as we possibly can. Uh, we are in day two of, uh, of Restore and Recovery. Uh, we have uh, sent uh, three assessment teams around the town taking pictures and identifying uh, what it is we need to do to get back uh, in ship shape. Uh, what we've seen is a lot of devastation, a lot of devastation on the beach areas, especially uh, the folks in Oak Grove and Crescent uh, have been especially, especially hard hit uh, and the road there uh, is out. So uh, we're taking steps to stabilize at this point uh, and to move forward. Uh, the CLMP is working with us. Uh, there's been some communication and conversation to us about uh, where are we? We don't see anybody on the road. Our feeder circuits for some of the main areas in the town uh, take us off road and into other towns. Salem and East Lyme, for example, are connected on the North 161 circuit. Old Lyme and East Lyme are connected on the uh, West Boston Post Road circuit, uh, as well as the Giant's Neck uh, area uh, has a circuit that connects uh, to Old Lyme. So, they're there, we're doing the best we can. Our hope is in the next 24 hours, we can get a significant portion of power back on in the community. Uh, if we can get some of those main circuits working along 161, for example, Route 156 and Route 1, then we could begin the process of feeding out uh, left and right of those circuits uh, to get the people back on who have no significant damage. If there are poles down, if there are wires on trees and trees down, uh, then we need to restore and make safe, and that's what we're focusing on. Uh, so know that we're on a target, and we're going to do it. Uh, getting back to normal, here's some of the things we can do. Regular trash and recycle pickup will uh, resume Thursday for those on the regular Thursday route. So on the regular Thursday route, put your recycle and cans out, uh, and trash cans out, and we'll get that up for you. The regular Friday route uh, will go on. Chuck, are we going to do Saturday at all? No, no Saturday delivery. So it'll be Thursday for Thursday, Friday for Friday, and then Monday. If you need to get stuff out of your garage and up uh, to the transfer station, they are accepting uh, uh, that stuff up there. Vets Field, uh, the parking lot there, is being manned by the Park and Recreation staff to take brush and tree debris only. Uh, the pile is beginning, and please heed uh, their suggestions as we're to uh, unload that stuff. No household waste, no demolition, simply brush and tree limb, etc. Uh, barricades. When you see barricades up, barricades are up for a reason. They're up because, uh, one, we have a significant danger uh, on the other side of those, or two, we have work crews there that are trying to repair and replace and make safe. So please heed those barricades and uh, try not to get, I know everybody wants to go see what's up, but try not to get down in these places because we have a lot of trucks, we have a lot of people trying to get things fixed, uh, and it just becomes problematic. So uh, only those people who live uh, beyond the barricades or in the region uh, need to be down there. Uh, we talked about the feeder lines trying to work. There are uh, four uh, crews working in the town of East Lyme as we speak, which is a little afternoon on Wednesday, uh, on these big circuits. and. We're hopeful that we can get a fairly good sized substation that feeds off the Flanders substation. Uh, once we get that energized, uh, we, can, we can get a lot of people on power. Uh, showers. Showers uh, have been extended. The hours to take them have been extended from 7 to 10 a.m. at the East Lyme Middle School and uh, today from 4 to 8 p.m. Uh, and then we'll make the determination on a day-by-day -day basis as to whether that shelter will be operating. Uh, if it does get moved, we'll let you know uh, what's going on with that in a future broadcast. Uh, schools at this point, uh, schools are closed Wednesday and uh, we have not made a decision uh, on Thursday uh, or beyond. We will hopefully know by sometime later this afternoon. And again, this tape is being recorded a little after noon uh, on Wednesday. There's been some concern about water safety. We have uh, the town of East Lyme is uh, uh, saying that it is safe to drink the water that the municipality provides. If you have an issue with your own well, your own on-site uh, water supply, uh, you know the situation. You may want to check in case something has happened. For example, we have a transformer drop 
in your front lawn. Transformers sometimes uh, are filled with toxic stuff, and uh, but CLMP knows that, and they will be out there. So just report it. We'll get it out there, and we'll take care of it. But let's take it one at a time. Halloween. Uh, Halloween is for fun and uh, uh, an enjoyment for the kids. Uh, we are canceling Halloween or asking all parents to cancel Halloween uh, this evening because there's just too many debris uh, obstructions and too many wires down for the kids to safely be out, not to mention that many of the streetlights uh, may not be operating. So let's not have Halloween. We'll look at that next week and see where we are. Town Hall uh, still is without power. We have a, a one or two person crew working there this afternoon to try to help uh, in any way you can. The community center has generators, so they're operating a little bit, but uh, uh, we're not sure how much town business is actually going to be conducted that's outside uh, us putting uh, things back together. Um, web site, www.eltownhall.com will continue to have information as well as our Facebook page, Public Safety, uh, East Lyme Public Safety Facebook page, uh, and, and that will continue to have good information. The day is delivering. We're going to get information to them, hopefully, as best we can. Uh, but again, we're on the job. Uh, we're working as hard as we can. We ask for your patience. This storm is significantly more damaging to the town of East Lyme than Irene was, and you know we missed the Halloween uh, snowstorm last year. So uh, we're still assessing, we're still digging out, we're in the process of replacing the road, for example, down at Crescent Beach right now. Uh, but some people uh, are in very tough shape and we're going to try to help them as best we can first and then we're going to get power uh, as quick as we can uh, back to you. And finally, uh, on a very sad uh, note, um, the town of East Lyme has lost a significant contributor uh, this morning, uh, East Lyme Public Works Director Mike Genitazio passed away uh, early this morning, uh, leaving uh, his wife and two children and a new grandchild who uh, was born. Uh, our sympathies and hearts go out to the Genitazio family, uh, and uh, we offer them uh, our deepest sympathy. So uh, the town, uh, the town's crew is is working through this. Uh, Mike's leadership will be missed. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all you do to keep this the greatest town in the world. And we'll be back in a few hours with the latest update. If anything that you need, our EOC is up and operating. That phone number is 860-739-4434. Thank you and be safe.